A housekeeper is accused of stealing from more than two dozen homes she was hired to clean. Police say she stole from families in Gross Point, Sylvan Lake, West Bloomfield, and Birmingham. Police estimate 39-year-old Beata Taranaska stole more than half a million dollars worth of items throughout the years, including luxury watches, jewelry, and expensive handbags. Police say she admitted to selling the prized possessions on eBay, Craigslist, and pawn shops. She's now charged with multiple felony counts of larceny. One family says she took $30,000 in items from them. It wasn't about the money. She was making a good six figures from all of us. She worked for 25 families. She was charging top dollar. And we paid her. When things would go missing, uh, they didn't confront her because they just had total trust in her. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, she violated that trust. Police also believe there may be more victims. Tar and Taranaska is currently being held on $50,000 bond. Federal judge sentenced a Canton man convicted of child sex crimes to 19 years in prison. Last year, 54-year-old Shailesh Patel admitted to prosecutors that back in 2010, he had a 10-year-old girl make inappropriate videos on his cell phone. The FBI first started investigating him after a woman came forward saying he sexually abused her as a child at several locations, including a temple in Canton. The U.S. Attorney's Office says Patel abused girls as young as the age of five. Today's sentencing also ordered him to pay a $50,000 fine. In good health tonight, a new study suggests children might be able to overcome their peanut allergies if treated at an early age. The study was published in the Lancet Journal. It involved 146 toddlers who were given increasing amounts of peanut protein powder to build their tolerance for peanuts. After two and a half years, about 75% could tolerate roughly 16 peanuts without an allergic reaction. And six months after treatment stopped, 20% still had the same tolerance. City of Detroit announcing a three-day winter fest at Palmer Park. That's right. It's happening February 11th through February 13th. Families can enjoy ice skating, snowshoeing, sledding, as well as Detroit-based vendors and music from the Detroit Youth Choir.